Hey, so I just passed my ham radio exam and um, I got my new FCC issued call sign, which is KC1 VTJ or Kilo Charlie 1 Victor Tango Juliet. And um, it's been great. I've been talking to my local repeaters and I've met some new people and it's been pretty cool. Um, so this is my radio I have, right? It's the Baofeng UV5R and it's a great starter radio, honestly. It's great for the price and um, I've learned so much from it and I've, I've been able to talk to lots of the local repeaters and even in such an urban area I've gotten probably close to 10 miles range which is pretty awesome. Um, but I have one issue with it and that's the fact that with these, here see if I can open it, these little jacks here you can't actually plug in um, your regular audio cable into like your computer or headphones so you can't like listen to it. So for example, if I was in a, a loud environment, right, I'll plug headphones in so I can hear it better. Um, can't do that. Uh, say I want to decode SST, SSTD, like I'm, if I'm receiving an image or something. Can't do that either. Um, so my solution is this, which is what I built. It's a 3D printed box and inside is a circuit board that basically uh, changes the connections into these 3.5 millimeter jacks. And with this, you're able to plug it into your computer, you can plug it into headphones, do whatever you want with it. And um, all of it is interfaced over this um, audio cable here. In fact, this is the one that came with the radio. This had an earpiece on the other end, and you could plug it into the radio, and it was kind of like headphones, but um, they weren't very good, and they had a terrible mic. So, cut it off, soldered a JST connector on it, and as you can see on the box, there's another side of the JST. So you can plug in the JST connections to each other like this, and then you grab the radio, and you can plug in the audio cable, or the audio jacks, right into the radio like that. And now it's all set up and working with this little box. So you've got your volume knob, you've got the JST connector, you've got speaker and mic audio jacks. So these speaker and mic audio jacks are what's important here. And you can grab your regular you know, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, you plug one end into the speaker port like that, and then on the other end of your, that same cable, you can plug that into your sound card, like the microphone input on your PC, and then you can you know, decode SSTV, stuff like that. Um, another option, I don't have it with me, but you can plug in headphones to this little port, and then you can just put them on your head, and that sounds just like it would coming out of the radio, but you know, it's much, much more controlled. Um, same thing for the mic. You can plug in an external mic if you wanted. You could also just plug in um, the another one of the 3.5 millimeter you know, audio cables, one end into the mic, the other end into your speaker output of your sound card, and then you can transmit stuff like you know SSTV, of course. You can set, send Morse code. You can send all sorts of even digital modes too, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, this is just a really brief video, kind of um, you know highlighting and showcasing this little little thing I made. Um, I also haven't posted a video in forever, so I kind of feel obligated to do something. Um, and I've been really busy lately, so uh, I apologize for the kind of whack upload schedule, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to kind of get on a little better for like the three of you that are watching right now. But um, yeah, that's what I've got right now. Actually, if you want, I can show you my uh, my website here. I've come up with my um, my new website here. This is at qsl.net slash kc1vtj and I've just created a little HTML website. Now that I think about it, it looks like it's from the you know early 2000s but you know that's alright. Looks cool to me. And um, yeah that's where I'm at right now. So if you have any questions leave a comment. I'm going to post all the files and stuff in the description. You can print it yourself. I'm going to uh, create a blog post on my other website where you can follow along, create it yourself if you actually care, if you want to. Um, and yeah, I think that'll do it. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon.